What I am doing, I call it a construction of reality as an applied method. You know that also national states are reality constructions and they only, only exist because there is a certain amount of people that believe that this exists. So why not developing new, new areas and making people believe that they exist? So here you see the coat of arms of Swoopford which is, you know, the first half of Swoop, Swoopitze, and the second half of F Frankfurt, Furt. So Swoopford, a rooster on an egg, which provokes the primary uh, philosophical question, what was first? Um, but uh, to understand this intervention and also this development, which takes place now since 23 years, because I started with this in 1999, uh, you should understand this border because you know we are all living in very different historically grown border regions. So here you have a map of the shifting of the borders of Poland. After Second World War in the conferences on Yalta and Potsdam, um, there was taken the decision to move the borders from Poland from east to west. So you know cities like Lviv now in Ukraine or um, Vilnius, now the capital of Lithuania, were Polish cities. And uh, because of the shiftings, um, you see here, this is gray. This was belonged to Poland before Second World War. And this rose colored here, this belonged to Germany. And then not only the borders were shifted, but also the people were shifted. So, so we had one of the greatest, biggest um, migrations in the 20th century. All the people from East Poland that had to leave their homes and all the people from this um, East German regions who also had to leave their homes. And uh, so also the people who suddenly lived together here because we are around here, they did never meet before because those people now living in the rose zones, they came m mainly, or lots of them, from East Poland, Zabuga, Zkresy, uh, so-called. And um, that's for, that is why there was a big identity problem of the people. There was no family links here and they had to rebegin again. Also, Frankfurt was evacuated in the last days of the Second World War um, and there were only 400 civilians left in the city um, and um, most of them, lots of them did not come back. So also here we have an exchangement of population. So if you look at the maps of Africa, you see the, how the colonizers just drew straight lines to divide the cake um, they wanted to rub. And uh, so I, th I thought I can um, do also a kind of strategy to create new, um, let's say, borderlines. We have here um, one entity. This is the entity, let's say, of Poles. And there you have the second entity, the entity of Germans. And where the two entities meet, I drew a new circle defining the entity of the Swoopferters. And uh, on this line, I started to build a wall. So here you see the Swoopferd city wall in the district of Swoop. The city wall in the district of Furt was built some years later. So this was in 2000 and four and um, the other piece uh, at the triangle there where meet Poland, Germany and Kaufland uh, was made um, in 2007 when Poland entered the Schengen contract because then really the borders disappeared. Until that time you had to still show your documents when you crossed the borders and at the beginning when I came here there were big queues at the borders and the quickest way to cross it was with a bike because then you could overtake all the cars and um, uh, cross uh, quite uh, quickly. So this is the revitalization of uh, Swoopford. Here you see um, the disappearance of the Oder River uh, under our Nove Miasta, our new town. 
the town hall should be here. We wanted to develop this till uh, 2020, but we are still working on it. And uh, one thing very important, all maps are turned direction East Pole and West Pole. Uh, because this was a mistake of the geographs, uh, we should direct all maps into that direction. Then we change the street names. Here you have the so-called Swupfurter Straße, Ulica Swupfurska, because street names are very important, you know. And uh, this is the mobile Swupfurt tourist information, which then was traveling through whole Europe to spread the news about this new city and its uh, people. We, of course, then needed a town hall. This were the former border controls. We enacted it first in, um, uh, I think it was uh, uh, 2008, um, when there were the Olympic Games here too, between uh, Swupford and Gubian, not in Beijing, but here, because we found out that uh, sports are very much integrating and creating identification. I know, uh, and first, of course, um, identity cards here. And then um, we made the first Olympic Games. Zoran will remember because he took part in it actively. We had, for example, two football teams, the Swoopferter team, consisting of Swoobers and Furters had a common enemy, the enemy, the Gubianers, and uh, um, so uh, they developed. Uh, coming Within five minutes they felt like one team. And here is one of our uh, sporters in Beijing. You see it's all empty because they all came to Swoopford. And here you see some of our classical um, uh, Olympic disciplines, uh, the kick of the golf ball across the Oder River, for example, or more traditional, how to throw cigarettes as far as po possible from the bridge to the promenade. <laughs> yeah, we talked about laughing this morning. Laughing is a very, in, in, uh, very important tool to anarchize uh, stiff and systematic thoughts. And then, of course, we provided the first communal elections in Swoopford. Um, uh, I was teaching at the university, so I had more than 50 students, and I asked them to develop a system for this. And uh, we said that uh, there must be almost two Swoobers and two Furters to come together to create a party. So all parties that existed to that uh, time were obsolete. And we had to create new parties, and my students organized it at spe as speed datings. And this way we got uh, seven parties uh, coming up. Here you see the Swoopfer to Polyglot party, in which you have to speak almost six languages to be member. And then uh, this was on our stage. Here you see uh, Krzysztof Wojciechowski uh, as the moderator of uh, the different parties. On the left you see the um, poly Maluche, Poly Minis, it's a party where you're not allowed to be older than 16 years. The two uh, women there, they yet are kicked out of the party because they're too old. That was the first meeting under the bridge. And so now we had a parliament, and uh, since then we also brought out our first daily newspaper of Swoopford, which is very special because it's not coming out every day. And our currency, um, Stuginas and Minuten. Stugina, Stunde in German, Gojina in Polish means uh, one hour. And 15 Minuten, Minuten and Minuten, minutes. Um, yeah. So everybody engaging for Swoopford for one hour gets one Stugina. And then can start continuing changing this energy. This is our um, insurance company um, that is um, th through recipe you can get um, you can get healings, uh, art healings, different kinds of art healings. And this is the proof that Swoopford exists. It is in this um, Antarctic, and there you can see. Swoopford, 14,186 kilometers. It is made, the photos made by Marek Kroshula from the district of Furt, who was working in the international scientist base in the Antarctic, and he specially made this for us. So this is not a photomontage. 
Yes, and this was the first step, how to visualize and uh, to create visual substitutes which, um, which are arguments for the city that it really exists. And then uh, we started to create our Brückenplatz, um, Platz Mostove, um, place, um, um, what was it? a bridge square, yeah. Uh, first, we were right beside the bridge. There um, we were 2012 to 2015. And then we had to leave there because they wanted to build a big uh, shopping mall in this area. So we had to leave. The shopping mall is still not there. But we had to leave in 2016. We got the sports hall, which you have seen yesterday evening, uh, when we had this um, very nice Cameroonian food. And we developed this as our new, as our agora, as our town hall of Swipford, if you like. And uh, yeah, here you see a picture. You have seen the building. Um, and we enacted this area. The city said you can use it as long as the investor would not come to build a four-star hotel. And uh, several times they told us, now you will have to leave. But then the investor... Um, did not uh, buy it, so we are continuously staying, hope that this uh, status in between will last still a long time. Zürgen is laughing because the, he knows that not, but uh, we will try to push this as long as possible. And here you see our parliament meetings. It changed a little bit throughout the years. Now, if we have a parliament meeting, let's say this would be our parliament meeting, everybody who comes automatically is a parliamentarian and has got a voice. So we have no more parties. We just come together. We gather the topics we want to speak about. We discuss them, and then we try to realize the decisions that we make. And that is the idea of the Brückenplatz. Uh, is that everybody can come with their own ideas and if possible we try to realize these ideas. So that is what you saw, the free shop, the repair cafe, uh, different projects that we are doing, the studio of uh, Bijou, our uh, singer, choreographer and dancer, and so on and so on. So these are kind of planning periods. And we have uh, now 45 key owners. That means that everybody who regularly engages on the Brückenplatz uh, gets the key and can open the door um, themselves. So, um, so it is a really kind of flat hierarchy. Um, we have a, an agenda in the internet too where everybody who wants to do something is writing it inside. Uh, all the key owners get the administrator access. Yeah, and here's some, some impressions. Um, this is Bijou. She is really a great uh, energetic person. And ah, this was uh, Christmas on the Brückenplatz. You see our big yurt, also created by Shimon. This is our repair cafe our free shop. It is always a kind of creative chaos in this um, in this book. But sometimes it's organizing a bit and then somebody else is coming and making chaos again. So this is how things in a um, social um, sculpture are moving and changing all the time. We, I will not speak about everything now. We were, during pandemic times we were sewing more than 5,000 masks for people could come and get them. Um, we, um, we collected in the free shop not only, uh, you know the principle of the free shop, everybody can come and bring something and others can come and take something. Or you also can bring something and take something. But then when um, the refugees got stuck at the Belarusian Polish border and often some of them died in the forests, we started cooperating with Grupa Granica. It's a Polish group which is helping the refugees in the forests. So we started to collect uh, donations and we sent them to Białystok uh, to help the refugees. Um, we bought uh, night, uh, house of night, uh, 
Lunette night, yeah, uh, so they can find the uh, the refugees in the forests, and um, we help them to get out of there. And uh, we found a lawyer, uh, um, Dieter Bollmann, the father of Sören Bollmann. He, uh, until September this year, he still had his um, his um, how to say his office, let's say, and he defended more than 260 refugees. Uh, without taking any money, and this were our first two refugees, which we managed to uh, to um, to save in a way. Um, Cyprien and uh, Freddy, they're from Cameroon, and um, they within Dublin three. They wanted to send them back to Spain, and we found church asylum for them. We found uh, jobs f uh, formations for them. Now both of them are electricians. And as electricians are needed, uh, they have now, they are not in the procedure of asylum anymore. <clears throat> we are having theater programs, very different uh, performances. As you saw, Cameroonian evenings, Polish evenings with food. We will have from Morocco soon uh, an evening. Um, yeah, this is just to give you some glimpse because how to uh, summarize 23 years, it is very difficult. But to me, it's very important that this is not just an art project which is shown in the gallery, but this is happening in real life with real people. And um, astonishingly, um, we mainly get people who are they or others, which means that... Um, not, which are in a way rejected by society. We have lots of refugees, as long as they are not acknowledged. Often when they get at acknowledgement, then, um, then they have no more time because they need to work. And uh, we also have homeless people uh, here with us. Some of them staying uh, some time in our um, town hall. And uh, since 2010, um, Swoofer became the capital of Nova America. The whole border region became Nova America. And I want to tell you why. We created, tried to create a kind of network, you see, like we now tr try to create as well. And then we met each other and we thought, how shall we call it? And we found um, out that here, this is... Um, the area where the Warte River is entering the Oder River, Frederick the Great, he dried out the muds in uh, the um, 18th century, and he told the farmers who wanted to emigrate to America, he told them, you stay here, here's your Neues America, here's your new America. And we choose this and say, if he can do uh, constructions of reality, then we can do this too. So we called our area Nova America, Nova written the Polish way, and America written the German way. And... Um, in Nova America sprechen wir in beiden Jahrzehnten gleichzeitig, und so weiter. Und so weiter. And then um, the villages that were built here, they got names like New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York, uh, Sumatra, Jamaica, Malta, Saragossa, and so on and so on. So you see, um, even uh, Frederick the Great, he, he knew how to play a game. So here is our map, you all, I have got this also there, um, of Nova America. You can see there are two versions, uh, depending on from which direction you are coming. If you are coming from the pro province of Poznan, then, uh, um, then you will look like this on the map, because here, uh, here is the Stolica, the, the capital. And there is the province of Poznan, and there is the province of Berlin. And if you come from the province Berlin, you look, you look the other way round. And of course, the, the border post disappeared under the flag of Nova America. By the f way uh, the flag uh, was, uh, we made a competition for graphics, and there were about 20 graphic designers from the whole border region who sent in their proposals. And it was uh, Lars Fischer from, um, from Jigwalde, formerly known as Eberswalde, um, who won the competition. Here we capture the town hall of Heunaberg. And this is our anthem. 
maybe later if we find some time we can sing it together. Yeah? Między halb płynnymi grenzen leben, razem wollen wir do szczęścia streben. This is just one sentence out of it. And uh, then we started organizing our Nova America Congress once a year, and in a way we are continuing here this tradition. But this we later we can discuss on this, because the network was functioning as long as uh, I had this funding for it. And later, when we had no more funding, very quickly this network kind of um, yeah, disappeared. Not totally, there are still people interested, and sometimes we work together, but uh, much less people than in the beginning. If something is fresh, then the energy is fresh, and then later it's a, it's a very uh, strong challenge how to, to keep it alive. So this is the Nova America University, also in a way you are here in the Nova America University. Um, and this is our godness, Sedina, the godness of Nova America. She loves to sail, Shimon. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, in 2020, I went to, um, to uh, Nua, Nova Gorizia <laughs> to open an embassy and thanks to Miha, uh, this is in Sarinarnica, the, really the former border controls which is now a culture hub and I could open the uh, Nova America embassy there and here you see uh, some of the ambassadors uh, in front of uh, the embassy. So if some of you want to become ambassadors in your places of Nova America, I can bring tomorrow these signs that you can fix it on the wall of your embassy. Yeah, and maybe I finish with this. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Thank you very much.